In this video, you'll learn about the Terra Station wallet, its functions, learn how to create and use it, get rewarded for staking the Luna token, make exchanges and transactions, and we'll also show you how to use this wallet in Terra blockchain DeFi applications. Terra is a layer 1 ecosystem blockchain, and to interact with all of its protocol and services, we'll need the project's wallet, Terra Station. In the Learn section of the Terra.money website, you can download the wallet for any platform. By clicking on any of the proposed options, the download of the wallet will begin. The interface and functions of the wallet will be similar on all platforms. The Terra Station wallet has web and browser extension versions, and it's also supported as an application for Windows, Android, iOS, macOS, and Linux. We recommend using the extension or the mobile app connected to the web version of the wallet to have access to all functions and the ability to easily interact with applications on the Terra chain. First, install the wallet extension or mobile app. At the time of recording this video, the extension is only available for Chrome-based browsers. After installing and launching the extension, you will need to create a new wallet. To do this, click New Wallet. Then, come up with a name and a password and save your passphrase. It is very important to keep your secret phrase safe because these words contain all of your assets, and you can access your wallet only using this phrase. If you lose this phrase or someone else unwanted compromises it out, you'll lose all your cryptocurrency. After that, check the box and submit to proceed to the next step. Here you will need to select certain words of your secret phrase, in our case these are the 13th and 5th words. After selecting the words, click submit. A window stating successful creation will appear. Click connect, then click connect again, and you will be brought to the wallet menu. The functionality of the extension and the mobile version of the wallet is limited to sending, exchanging tokens, and staking. To use all the functions of the wallet, you need the web version. The link to it is in the description. After going to the web version, click connect and select Terra Station Wallet to connect the extension or Wallet Connect to connect to the mobile version. The extension will automatically connect your wallet, and to connect to the mobile version you need to scan the QR code and click the Allow button in the application. After connecting you will be able to fully use all the functions, which we'll get to later. You can now see your wallet address in the upper right corner. You can send assets to this address from any exchange or other services. This address is public and you can share it with those who will send you funds. Transaction fees on the Terra network are paid by the Luna token or one of the Terra stablecoins. You will not be able to use the Terra network services without them. The Terra blockchain allows you to create many algorithmic stablecoins from the Luna token, tied to currencies of different countries. All these stablecoins can be used to pay fees on the blockchain as well. You can buy and send Luna or the USD stablecoin to your wallet from almost any cryptocurrency exchange. By clicking buy next to the token, you will be offered several options where you can purchase it. In some cases, when making transfers on the Terra network, for example when withdrawing from an exchange, you may be asked for memo. It is often necessary to fill in this field when making a deposit or an exchange. If you are making a transfer to your own or any other wallet, this field can be left blank. Other stablecoins are the easiest to get by exchanging Luna or UST for them. We will talk about the exchanges later in the video. The number of coins you have will be shown in the coins tab. Above is the total value of all coins and tokens on the wallet. To send tokens to someone, click send next to the token you want to send. Then enter the address you want to send tokens to, the amount, and fill the memo field if necessary. If you have a Terra stablecoin or Luna, you can choose one of them to pay fees with. After you enter the password and click submit, the tokens will be sent to the specified address. You can view your transactions in the History tab. The Terra Station wallet has also such tools as Swap, Stake and Governance in addition to the standard functions of storing and transferring cryptocurrencies. In the Swap section, you can exchange your tokens. To do this, select the token that you want to send and the token that you want to receive. Enter the amount and you will see the number of tokens you will receive. To complete the exchange, enter the password and click Submit. Using the Swap Multiple Coins functions, you can exchange several tokens for one token at once. In the stake section, you can delegate your Luna tokens to network validators in exchange for interest. In the list of active validators, you can see the commission that each of the validator takes from your profit. It is better to choose a validator with the lower value of voting power, a larger self-delegation, a smaller commission, and a larger percentage of uptime. Clicking on a validator will take you to their profile, where you can view additional information such as their contact or website. You can delegate your tokens to any of the available validators. To do this, click Delegate. 
Specify the number of tokens you want to delegate, enter the password and click submit. The tokens are not sent to the validator's wallet but are simply used by them to create blocks. You can request your tokens back at any time. You can collect rewards in the validator's profile or in the stake menu by clicking withdraw all rewards. By clicking on the delegations tab you can see which validators you have delegated your coins to. To withdraw your coins go to the validator profile and click on delegate. Then specify the number of tokens you want to withdraw, enter the password and click submit. After your request to withdraw, the coins will be frozen for 21 days and return to your wallet after this time. Frozen tokens do not earn interest for delegation. The wallet also has a governance section which is useful if you have at least 50 Luna tokens. There you can vote for various updates and changes in the project. You can interact with many other applications built on Terra using the wallet. You can take a look at projects operating on Terra by clicking on the link in the description. For the example, let's use the Stager protocol. Click on Terra Station Mobile and scan the QR code with your mobile app. To connect using the extension, click Connect Wallet and select the Terra Station Wallet in the window that popped up. Click Connect. After that, the wallet will be connected and you will be able to use its functions. When performing various operations and transactions, you will see a wallet pop-up window in which you need to confirm the transaction by entering the password and clicking post. The wallet will also indicate the fee of the transaction. If you connect it using the mobile app, you will need to confirm transactions in it. Subscribe to the channel and our social media. Leave a like and comment. All the links are in the description. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments down below. Support the video by leaving a like and subscribe to our Twitter. The link to it is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.